don't you just wish that language was not a barrier to experiencing retro games from other regions of the world? Well, something has made that dream a whole lot easier recently. Find out how on Retro Recollections. It's never been easier to play and experience games that were only ever intended for overseas markets. Not only is importing so much easier than back in the day, we also have access to emulation solutions that allow us to play many games that perhaps never got a release in our native territories and are very difficult or impossible to find. There are dedicated fans out there that deconstruct game ROMs and provide English and other translations to popular games and this is a fantastic solution if available. But what if the game you want to play doesn't have a translation available? Amazingly, one of my favourite emulation projects, RetroArch, has come up with a solution that could have come straight out of an episode of Star Trek. The Universal Translator is coming online, sir. Ugly. Ugly. Giant. Bags of mostly water. Bags of mostly water? An accurate description of humans, sir. You are over 90% water surrounded by a flexible container. As of version 1.7.8 of RetroArch, a new service called the AI service gives users the ability to translate their games on the fly. For example... LLL Sarah. Siramu, you haven't been waiting yet. Sarah C, this robe is different. So, what do you need to do to get this working? First of all, as already mentioned, you need to have at least version 1.7.8 of RetroArch installed which I believe is the most current version at the time of recording this video. There are several methods of using the service, but I will just be covering the one I'm currently using. Firstly, you need to make a few changes to your RetroArch settings. Go to the Settings menu and select Input, then select Hotkey Binds. You need to set a hotkey to trigger the service. Find the entry for it at the bottom and choose a key that is rarely used. I have chosen a quote. Now come out and return to the main settings menu and scroll down to AI service to configure the service itself. There are several things you need to do here. Firstly, the developer of the service has provided a free translation service you can use. I'm sure there are other solutions available, but this is the one I'm using for now. His website is called ztranslate, or ztranslate. So the address is http colon forward slash forward slash ztranslate forward slash service. And this is what you need to input here. It is recommended that you sign up on the website as this gives you more control over how the translation works. If you do this, you're provided with an API key to enter in this section. Mine, for obvious reasons, is obscured here. Add question mark API underscore key equals and then your key to the address. I have left the source language to don't care so it will attempt to detect automatically and my target language to English as I am an English speaker but many others are available. There are two methods of translation image mode and speech mode. As you will see in a bit in image mode the game pauses to provide the translation as an overlay in your chosen language. In speech mode the service attempts to translate on the fly as the game is in progress. Be aware though that both these methods have a few seconds of delay as your text is being processed and it will depend on the type of game and your own personal preference as to which is most suited to be used. Also don't forget to make sure 
to enable the service here too. OK, let's see how it works in practice. I have chosen the Japanese Mega Drive RPG game Surging Aura to use as an example. The Aimed Brothers Code was founded. LLL Sarah Siramu, you haven't been waiting yet. Sarah C, this robe is different. Day, 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 day and day it, s not easy to meet. I was here if I thought I couldn't see me. W-E-L-L-E-L. There is no forgiveness. No matter how familiar you are, you can't forgive me. FFFFFFFFBE. Return to the ceremony right away. Date of birth. Day, 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 day and day prince move please come to the hall immediately. Everyone is waiting. X O O O O O O O O O percent congratulations on the 20th anniversary of the founding of the kingdom of Pasvalda. I think that the peace of the country is a treasure that is irreplaceable. Gump oh 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 let's all do our best so that the peace of this country will continue in the future.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at RetroArch's new translation service. I will certainly be making good use of it. It's early days, but I think it's working pretty well already, and I'm sure it will get refined in the future. Check out RetroArch and LibRetro resources for other methods, including faster ways to get the translation process that are being worked on. I will include links in the description. Let me know what you think of this service. Will you use it? Leave me a comment below if you have, and especially if you have any tips on how to improve it. Why not give this video a like if it was useful to you, and subscribe to the channel for more retro goodness. If you would like to get in touch with me, or support the channel in any way, there are links in the description. So as always, until next time, bye bye.